get the machine in the building. Well, we had two options. One was to, to grow through the roof and, and build a, an extension on the roof or go down, build sort of, sort of like a basement. So uh, they, they elected to, to, to build down and, 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 and dig a 10-foot hole in, into the ground to get the machine in there, or part of the machine anyways. It was pretty impressive, you know, as we, as we uh, were seeing it uh, coming to, to, to life. I mean, we had a prototype machine, which is uh, significantly smaller, but um, the machine that you're, you're seeing there is a one-off. There's only one in the world. There's not two. It doesn't exist, and it's unique. Um, and it's 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 fairly simple to the point that you know it's like all good ideas. Why, why didn't I think of that? You know, it's simple, but um, we, we we came up with the idea, and it's really allowing us to to uh, keep our leadership position. I do remember my, my first thought when I saw the machine uh, to do 3D lasting for the very first time and that feeling was fear. It was a huge machine, uh, it had a lot of uh, moving parts, uh, it was unlike anything I'd ever seen um, in a skate assembly line. Um, but what was really amazing was when we, we got our first part off the machine and, and took a look at it and, and saw immediately what this was going to be able to offer to a player in terms of giving them an opportunity to improve his skating performance. It all started uh, with the Vapor 20. We, we wanted to give it more uh, three-dimensional shape, but we saw the potential at that time. Uh, seeing uh, the, the, first, the first prototypes, we said, you know, this, this shows a lot of promise, you know, a lot of uh, uh, potential in the future, which will allow us to use uh, more high-tech materials and, and and, and lighter materials. When we look back at how we got to uh, develop and, and, and produce the, uh, the machine used to do 3D lasting, um, you know, that was really the result of, of people putting their heads together, uh, looking at the basic problem of trying to do something that would really work in terms of delivering a better level of performance, a totally different level of performance to, to hockey players. The invention itself that we've come up with is allowing us to do things that are just unique in skate making. Uh, no one else can do that right now or have that capacity to do it. So it's putting us in a, a very important uh, competitive advantage.